Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So even though we don't know where this fight is going to take place, I mean, once again, Eddie Hearn, he said that it's going to be in Saudi Arabia. And according to Eddie Hearn, they have a contract that states they can choose wherever they want the fight to be, which is why I don't understand why Andy Ruiz is having so much of a problem with the fight being in Saudi Arabia because I was under the impression Andy Ruiz's main concern was not having the fight in the UK. And realistically, Team Joshua, if they wanted to, they could have still hosted this fight in the UK despite Andy Ruiz opposing the idea, at least according to Eddie Hearn. Now, Anthony Joshua, he's been talking about the mistakes that he made in that first fight, and coincidentally, He's almost saying word for word what I told you guys. Anthony Joshua, he said that he made the mistake of getting extremely reckless after he hurt Andy Ruiz because he thought that Ruiz was pretty much done. So he threw caution to the wind trying to finish off Andy Ruiz. And that's how he got caught and eventually stopped. Now, Anthony Joshua, he said something else that was pretty interesting. He said after he got knocked down the first time, he doesn't remember anything from that point on. So once again, he was fighting with a concussion and he has said, I'm surprised that it took him four more rounds to take me out when I was pretty much out on my feet for the last four rounds. So what AJ is basically saying is if it took Andy that long to take him out while uh, AJ was out on his feet for four rounds, there's no way he's gonna take him out when he's completely conscious. But I don't know, that remains to be seen. We won't know how affected and damaged AJ is until we see the first couple rounds of the rematch. I truly believe it's gonna be a hell of an uphill battle for AJ because once again, you know, Andy is a great pressure fighter. And Anthony, he's gonna to have to show that he's comfortable fighting on the inside. He's not gonna be able to continue to move around the ring for a whole 12 rounds. That's gonna do nothing but wear him down eventually. He's gonna to have to fight in the pocket every once in a while. He's also gonna to have to get his respect from Andy Ruiz by backing him up sometime during the fight. The majority of pressure fighters are uncomfortable when they're being backed up. And that's what we've seen with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua himself is a pressure type fighter. I mean, he's not a walk through fire type of fighter, but he is a come forward aggressive fighter. And it looked to me like Andy Ruiz caught AJ by surprise by putting so much pressure on him and forcing him to move around the ring so much. So let's see what happens, guys, in the rematch. Once again, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what they're gonna do with this situation when it comes to where the fight is gonna be hosted. I'll keep you guys updated. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Rotation of the shoulder and back in. <laughs> 